Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here and welcome to DCS World 2.7.10 an Eagle Dynamics FA-18C Hornet module. Welcome to tutorial 7, Rockets. Today we're going to talk about the variety of rockets that can be employed in the FA-18C. Uh, you have uh, quite a few different uh, types of launcher and actual rocket uh, warhead that can be used and uh, all of these are mounted on the BRU-33 rack. Uh, now these racks can be installed on pylons 8, 7, 3 and 2 and I've actually demonstrated the maximum configuration right here uh, with these racks being installed in all four of those pylons. Now these racks can have one or two rocket pods installed each uh, and I've opted for <laughs> the maximum possible here uh, with two being in every single rack. Uh, so I, I've got a total of eight rocket pods here. Now uh, as far as the pods go you actually have three different types that you can carry. Uh, there is the LAU-10 series. Uh, these allow carriage for four rockets uh, of the 127mm Zuni type. We also have the LAU-61, which is actually what you see here. Those carry 19 2.75-inch Hydra rockets. And finally, it's possible to carry the LAU-68, which allows carriage of seven of the same 2.75-inch Hydra rockets. Obviously, I've gone for the maximum configuration here just for fun. Uh, we've got three different types of warhead as well, available for most of these rockets. Uh, you can carry HE Frag. Uh, those are, are generally going to be used against uh, light-skinned targets and in infantry, the fragmentation being particularly useful for soft targets. There is HE, which is a pretty standard high-explosive rocket. And then for some of these rocket types, it's also possible to have a high-explosive anti-tank warhead, and that's a, an armor-defeating warhead. Today we're just carrying the standard high explosive. So let's get into the cockpit and have a little look at the setup of this weapon. Uh, it's pretty simple, it's a CCIP style of weapon. Um, if we zoom down on the stores page, you can see it's represented here as 61S. Uh, that's just confirming to us that it's the LAU-61, so that's the one that carries 19 rockets each, uh, and it's in single mode, so each time we pull the weapons release, one rocket will come off. Uh, let's go into air-to-ground master mode, let's turn on the master arm, and let's choose the profile for 61S, and it's confirming to us here, ready, letting us know that uh, they're ready to use. So we've got some options around the outside of the uh, the display here. Uh, we can choose CCIP or manual release modes. Manual release gives you a depressed reticle, uh, and if you look at the tables in the manual, you can actually compute uh, what uh, depressed reticle setting to use to launch manually. Uh, as long as you don't have any fault with your kind of onboard computers, you're gonna be using CCIP always, really, in which case you're going to get an accurate reticle on the HUD, Put the reticle on the target and press fire. You've also got the option of single launch or salvo launches. With salvo launch it's going to launch from all of the rocket pods at the same time. Single it's going to cycle through each pod one at a time. We're going to do salvo because that looks like fun. <laughs> it's possible to cycle the rocket motor type either M4 or M66. Uh, this will uh, adjust the way that it aims. I'm going to leave it on the M66. We can also set tone, which means that the uh, the aircraft will play a tone on weapon launch. And data allows us to display uh, data about the current aim point. Uh, we'll turn that off just now. Uh, and that's it. Uh, if we look up on the HUD, on the HUD, we're going to get the, the standard reticle for the rockets. Uh, range will count down around the outside. And once we're in range, it will confirm at the top that we are in range. It's also confirming to us the mode and the number of rockets remaining on the right hand side there. So without any further ado, let's go give this a go. We're out of active pause. Let's get the aircraft down into a descent. Uh, we have a, an airfield up ahead which we're going to attack. Now let's see what we can do with this. And um, we also have a pull-up queue, uh, a break X, sorry, which will, will come up to warn us once we get a little bit too close to the target. There we go, reticle is climbing up the HUD now as we're approaching the target. Let's 
get a little bit closer and we should start to see the range count down. Got our standard altitude warning at 5,000. I'm actually going to accelerate a bit and continue inbound. Going to aim for the buildings off to the north here. Okay, so of course, you know, as always with CCIP deliveries, we're going to be and need to be in a little bit of a dive. Counting down in range. Let's get on the target and fire. Each time we pull the trigger, all of the pods will launch, and we've got that break X. That means that we should pull off the target now. And that was a successful employment. Excellent. Let's regain that altitude we lost. Uh, I still have 112 rockets remaining on board. This maximum configuration is kind of ridiculous. If you were doing some kind of um, CAS mission, uh, you'd, be able to, you'd be able to employ these for quite a long time, I think. So those that's the the basics of how these rockets are employed. Uh, you, all you do is you know, roll in, put the uh, put the pepper on the target, wait until it calls in range, pull the trigger, and wait for the explosion. And when you get your break X, I haven't got. Oh, there we go, break X. Once you get your break X, get out of there. You're getting too low. Very simple. Okay, uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you all next time.